Hey everybody, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith here. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what I'm doing with my own training right now and show you how I'm setting up my next program on the Juggernaut AI app. So I just finished six weeks on the Juggernaut BJJ app using the lifestyle uh, program on there. Finished up uh, with some pretty solid lifts. I, I deadlifted, trap bar deadlifted, uh, 220 for seven, 220 kilos for seven at probably eight RPE. Um, benched 175 kilos for a triple. Uh, the bench was nine and a half or 10. Uh, I also had, you know, Jesus on the spot was in here, lifted on my own and my elbows, both elbows in fact were killing me from Jiu Jitsu uh, that week. I need to stop getting arm barred and then my elbows won't feel so bad. But 175 for a triple, and then yesterday squatted 230 kilos for a set of five, probably eight and a half, nine RPE there. Uh, and for the squat and deadlift, those are the first times I've gone over 500 pounds in over, you know, about two years. Um, you know, if you watched my vlog from a couple of weeks ago, uh, training on the, the lifestyle program, I talked about my microdistectomy back surgery in January 2021. And you know, with doing jujitsu, playing golf, just lifting as a hobby, uh, now not looking to compete in powerlifting, I feel like there was a ton of reason for me to go that heavy. But you know, now I'm getting getting a little taste of it again. So I do want to switch over. You know, after a good six weeks there on the BJJ program, and and seeing like, all right, I can can handle heavier weights, and my back feels fine. You know, I want to put probably. 10, 12 weeks of work towards more maximal strength training while still gonna be training Jiu Jitsu alongside of that, uh, but also just increase my understanding really uh, of the user experience in the Juggernaut AI app because I haven't used it in the true sense of like it's guiding my training because that's not the kind of training I've been doing since the app has come out. So here we go. I wanna show you how I set the questionnaire and everything up and just kind of talk you through my thought process on some of this stuff. I'll do a full full reset just so I'm putting everything in. Birthday, July 5th, 1986, in case you know anyone wants to steal my identity or get me a present, yeah, either way. Body weight, about 140 kilos right now. Probably should be lighter, but beer, beer and food. You know, people ask, like, oh, don't you want to get like really ripped? Or, you know, when I had gotten pretty, pretty lean, I had, could see my, could see four good abs and I weighed 290. And I was sitting at this place, Green Cheek Brewery with one of my buddies. And he's like, I, I, this was when things had just opened up for, after first round of COVID. So I'd come off hand surgery and a lot of not training and had gained like probably 30, 35 pounds back. And he's like, He's like, hey, you wanna get really ripped again? And I was like, I don't know, that was cool. And then I looked at the double cheeseburger and the IPA in my hands and I was like, but this is pretty cool too. So that's why I'm not that, that's why I'm not ripped because food and beer are delicious. Uh, so yeah, 308 right now, but uh, let's, try and get, let's try and get that down a little bit in the weeks to come. 185 centimeters tall, nutritional tracking. I'm gonna track. Let's say, let's say maintaining weight just because it's pretty easy for me. Like I don't have to be that aggressive in uh, cutting. I just need to kind of more not eat like an asshole. How long have I been lifting? Long. How has my training workload been? So this question, historical workload and recovery ability are, are two most subjective questions in the, uh, in the questionnaire but are very informative to the system. If you would have asked me in 2015, 2016 peak of my powerlifting career, I was doing some of the highest volume training, uh, especially when you consider squatting over 900 pounds as a super heavyweight, uh, where it's not uncommon for super heavyweights to you know, squat every other week. And I was squatting huge workouts twice a week, sometimes three times a week. Uh, at that point, I would have put you know probably medium high volume or high volume but the way that my train's been now, lifestyle program, what I've done for the last six weeks, isn't particularly high volume training. I've only been lifting three days a week. So I'm gonna put low volume here. And then how quickly do I recover from workouts? We're actually reworking uh, the phrasing of this in, in the questionnaire some, because just soreness is not fully representative of what we're looking for. 
Um, I'm going to rank myself right in the middle there conservatively. If I was, again, to go back to that 2015, 2016 times, I had a very, very high work capacity. Um, it's not as high now, and that's kind of working in conjunction with just not having done as much hard training in the lifting sense, you know, especially when I consider putting jujitsu on top of this, other, you know, physical hobbies with it, like, you know, golfing, the physical demand of golfing. Uh, sleep, I'm going to go between five and seven hours. Put low stress job, high activity lifestyle. And I'm putting the high activity lifestyle from training Jiu Jitsu and I'll be doing the powerlifting program. I train four days a week Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Starting up this upcoming Monday, which I'm sure will be a great training session on Monday because uh, Super Bowl is tomorrow. And I'm definitely not going to drink a bunch of margaritas and eat a absurd amount of food. And yes, I will set my own meat date. Um, don't get too excited. I'm not actually doing a meet here. I'm just putting in a date to get the length program that I'm, I'm looking for. But uh, maybe if it's going really well, who knows? Who knows? And we'll let the system pick the periodization. And a bridge block. If you haven't used the bridge blocks in the Juggernaut AI app, you need to. Marissa is always using them. We're going to do back-to-back -back bridge blocks. Like, it's such an underutilized part of training and part of the app. So yes, I'm doing a bridge block, six week bridge block. Bridge block is a, you know, outgrowth of a program that I wrote for myself probably nine years ago now, and I've used it with every high level lifter that I've coached, super heavyweight guys, lightweight women, tested, untested, everyone really, really valuable part of the training. And this is going to be extremely valuable for me to create, you know, a smooth transition from the lifestyle program I was doing in the Juggernaut BJJ app into more powerlifting focused training. So we're going to do six weeks of bridge. So I'm just taking these maxes over from the Juggernaut BJJ app. What I did the, the last two weeks on my lifestyle program there, I'm going to go just slightly below them because they were projected max off a of five rep max squat, seven rep max deadlift. Uh, and even though neither of those were RPE 10 for me, because I'm not trying to get ready to compete in a powerlifting meet, because I'm you know, uh, still very mindful of how, how my back is feeling and I have no need to, to prove to myself that I can you know, squat and deadlift extremely heavy weights because you know, I've done enough of those for, for a lifetime. I'm going to go just below my projected maxes there, so it had me at 267.5 in the squat, but 265. Uh, bench, it was at 192 and a half. That one's fine. And then deadlift, and then it had me at 272 and a half. Uh, though I'll just put in 270. And my main deadlifting, deadlift variation is going to be trap bar deadlift because, again, I'm not trying to get ready for a powerlifting meet, and I just feel more comfortable with the trap bar deadlift. Then we'll go high bar, standard grip and conventional again the deadlift styles not really going to be relevant for me and my weaknesses uh squat still a couple inches above parallel though a bit hard to tell now because i haven't you know, pushed a squat hard hard enough we're also going to be adding to this part of the questionnaire just like a i don't know uh section because i know there's probably a lot of you who don't know uh bench off the chest deadlift We'll go lockout, and now it's doing the magic, generating the smartest program for me. How about that? All right, there we go. Other important piece of the program to look at here, besides just the overall periodization structure of you know, how many bridge, how many strength and peaking weeks, is in the review program section where you can see my MEV and MRV for each lift, depending on phase, as well as the periodization style that it selected for me. So we've got, uh, obviously I won't be doing hypertrophy, but strength with alternating and undulating to the peak on the squat, alternating periodization on the bench, and uh, staying with the alternating on the deadlift as well. 
If you want to learn more about those different periodization styles, you can check out the undulating periodization video here on the, the channel. Um, and then you know, what MEV and MRV mean. We've got plenty of videos on all that stuff, minimum effective volume, maximum recoverable volume, and the implications that your individual differences as a lifter, size, strength, recovery ability, all that stuff has on your training. All right, so here we go with the, uh, the program set for June 25th, the preparatory week that's just really showing today because I set the program to start on Monday. And then we've got six weeks bridge, two, three plus one uh, strength blocks. So that's three weeks of hard training plus the deload. And then the peak there at the end, again, I'm probably not gonna do the peaking part of things, but you never know. So hopefully this gave you a little bit better understanding of how to set up your program and the app, my thinking behind my questionnaire answers. So make sure you're following along on my Instagram at Chad Wesley Smith. I'm gonna be trying to post my training and my stories like pretty much every single session. And then here on the YouTube channel as well, I will have a couple of vlogs updating you along the way as we go. So if you wanna try the Juggernaut AI app for two weeks free for yourself, visit the link down in the description, the link up there in the corner or juggernautai.app. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.